Hi guys, I'm Lenny. This is Candy Goff Creations, a place for me to come and share all my random bits of stuff, life, which hasn't happened for a while. Um, yeah, sorry about that, but life happened, and Corona happened, and lockdown happened, and everything has just happened. Um, so for those who don't know me, I'm Lenny. This is just me. Um, I live in Cornwall, which is in the very southwest of the UK, where I live with my partner and three tiny humans. Um, so, I don't know where to start. It's been a while. The last time I spoke to you was like March, and it's now the end of September. Um, so, also the last time I spoke to you, I had green hair. Um. <laughs> I shaved my hair off because if I wasn't going to do it in lockdown when was I ever going to do it and do you know what it was quite a liberating experience it was interesting um but we're now growing it back so this is my natural colour hair haven't seen that in a few years um at least a decade probably more but it's at that length where it doesn't really do anything and it's really annoying. But that's not what I'm here to talk about. This is my, um, I don't know what these are called. Like, it doesn't have a name. You, They're like wheat packs. You put them in the microwave, they get hot. My foot's hurting. Um, for those of you who don't know, I had surgery a year ago. And every now and again, I still get pain. Um, it's nothing like it was. It's not a big deal. But heat helps. It's been cold, wet, windy in Cornwall today, but it's Cornwall. We have all four seasons in a day, most of the time. Not what I'm here to talk about. I'm so easily distracted. So, what I'm going to talk to you about. I'm actually going to show you my favourite projects that I made during lockdown. And then I'm going to show you some things because I bought stuff. So, do 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 my favourite project that I made during lockdown. Um, I did manage to just build a bit of crocheting. I was home learning, home teaching my three boys, which was interesting. Yeah, Tony humans are fun. Um, but they're all back at school now. It's fine. But this is the favourite thing I made. Um, it's for my tiniest of my tiny humans, Merrick. It is adorable. He loves it. We do have to like drag it off him because it needs washing every now and again. <laughs> so he can have that back. And I know that he'll come home from school tomorrow and get changed out of his uniform and into this. And probably just this and pants. Because that's how he rolls. So, favourite project. It is literally a bunch of squares. Um, I was sort of inspired by the... What is he called? Harry Styles cardigans, except for one they're knit, two they're in chunky, three it's an adult size. So we had to adapt all of that down into his proportions. I am making another one very similar to that one, but for my oldest tiny human who is nearly 12. And again, it's it's using up my scrap yarn, it's great. Um, these squares are 15 by 15, so it's, I chained 16 to give me then 15 single crochets for 15 rows to get those, and then I just stitched them all together. Um, the one that I'm making for Louis, who is the oldest of the tiny humans, has a hood and it's going to be a little bit different just because why not so what have I bought I have bought this Ooh, can't pick it up so Justice League superhero crochet and cross-stitch crafts we are really big into superheroes like crazy into superheroes and I have the Marvel kit, 
which is quite similar. Um, it cost me twice the amount of money that this one did though. This one's from the works. Um, it's seven pound, or you can get two for ten. I have got an extra one done there. Um, so project book, and that's got crochet patterns for Batman, Wonder Woman, Superman, Flash, and Robin. So yeah, it's also got I don't cross stitch, so but it's got the cross stitch patterns so we've got for the flash i don't know if you can see little flash logo it's a lightning bolt i'm sorry you're getting blinded there we go lightning bolt it's got a robin symbol bat symbol wonder woman and superman so we've got yarn i think we've, we've got the yarn to make batman in here plus a plastic crochet hook that doesn't have a size on it oh it does have a size on it so it's still in this wrapper so i can't see it very well oh three millimeters and a little sewing up needle thingy which to be honest i'm probably not going to use that i can give that to the kids they will use those so i've got that one and i also got this and i got this because i've never seen it before so it's the harry potter wearable knitted makes i want to improve on my knitting skills because i'm not good at them so again this is two for ten pounds so i thought that was great um the yarn colors on this are a bit squiffy so you get the yarn to make this hat. Oh, that actually looks better on camera. In person, it looks a bit more burnt orange, which is meant to be burgundy red. It's not burgundy. And this is meant to... Oh, that again looks better on camera. So it looks better... I'm looking at it on the screen than it actually does in person. So maybe that'll be okay. So we've got these we have got some bamboo knitting needles in four millimeters and we have two cardboard circles if you're old school at making pom-poms this way drives me insane i'm buying pom-pom makers was my favorite thing i've ever done because this no Again, Tiny Humans will have this. Then on the booklet is a darning, are these called darning needles? Sewing needle. Yarn needle, I don't know what these are called. Um, and this gives you, what does it give you? It gives you four projects. So in here is four projects. So we have... Do -do 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 -do. I'm so not prepared for anything. Does anyone else have that? They're just never really prepared for anything. Oh, these are going to be hard to show you. So there's the little beanie thing. Um, What is quite cute with this, so it gives you the yarn to make the Gryffindor hat. But it actually gives you colourways for the houses as well, because I know a lot of people forget who's what and what's where and blah, blah, blah. Um, a simple scarf. Just they're calling it the tassel scarf, but you know, it is what it is. Oh, I actually really like it this colourway, which is the Hufflepuff colourway for those who care. Those who don't, it's yellow and black. Um, boot cuffs. For each page, it actually is quite good at telling you what you need. Um, including like the weights of the yarn that you're going to need so for yarn one you need 30 grams and yarn two you need 15 for these little boot toppery doohickeys and what I really like where are we oh boot cuffs sorry it's a proper name for them there's these wrist warmers that I fancy making you can't see it very well but there's some um, cabling 
I really want to try cabling because I don't know how to do that. So, I'm definitely going to try that project. I, I'm a bit torn with this kit where I don't know whether I should keep it or my oldest, Louis, actually knows how to knit and whether it would be a good project for him, a good thing for him to have lying around or we can share it. I mean, we have plenty of knitting needles and plenty of yarn in this house. It's not a big deal. But it also gives um, inspiration about personalising them. And where is it? There's a little chain stitch alphabet if you wanted to copy that because sometimes it's tricky getting those letters right. And then there's some more like, symbol-y ones, which is quite cute. But yeah, I mean, realistically, it's a £5 kit. I got two of them. It worked out as £5 each. The other thing I bought is... My nephew is turning one very, very soon. As in, next week. And I wanted to do something a little bit special for him. And from his first birthday through to his second birthday, I want to send him a book and a toy. Now, the works, which is where these came from, is brilliant. They do some really great picture books that are really nice and fun and bright and colourful. So I have ordered a bunch of picture books that I'm going to make characters to go with. So I've got the very lazy ladybird, the messy book, there's no such thing as monsters. There is. Three little pigs. This one, I was thinking I can make like finger puppets. Jump to mind. Although I have seen that Kim over at Blue Chair of 82 has just done Amigurumi Wolves. Uh, Amigurumi Wolf and Piggies. It's pretty cute. This one. This one looks really cute. But I just love the idea of him having a little present coming. Rather than spending a lot of money just on his birthday, him getting a little gift every month, I think could be a much nicer... Is that the right way up? Oh, no, it's not. Um, much nicer. This one's really cute. And this one's probably going to be closer to his next birthday because... We don't need to trip potty train our children not one. You know, it's painful for everyone involved to even try that. But it's got like a really cute little blue bunny with pants. Like, who doesn't want a blue bunny with pants? And I got him a Christmas book. Which, my boys actually have this book. And they love it. But I thought I could make him the elf. And I can make him an elf hat because they've moved back. They were living somewhere really hot and now they're not. Now they're back home to the cold blustery UK so he can get hats. Um, so I can crochet and knit hats. And he's like, he's one so he's tiny compared to my giant tiny humans who are not one and tiny anymore. So that is all I have for you. I hope everyone is well. My hair is driving me mental. Um, I'll just sit like this. Um, I don't think I've got anything else to say. Other than, sorry that I spent six months ignoring everyone. Oh, one second. No. Oh, sorry. Um, random alarm came up on my phone. So, that is it for me. I will hopefully speak to you all again soon. I want I want to be back making videos again. I want to be back doing this. If I can ever get over my awkwardness. But I was awkward before. So, I don't understand why that's stopping me. Because it never has before. So, I love you all. And I'll speak to you soon. Bye, guys.